Hello, today we're going to make a new version of the mask. It's not too difficult, has raw edges, which makes sewing a lot simpler. The supplies you're going to need will be the provided template. The best way to use the template is to trace it on a thicker piece of cardboard or cardstock or even one of these chopping mats that are thin. You can make a template and then you can use it continually. Once you have your template made, you're going to cut it out for tracing. Additional supplies will be a 10 inch by six and a half inch piece of medical grade fabric, your 16 gauge wire, your wire cutters, needle nose pliers or jewelry pliers. You're going to need a pen for tracing, clips, and a couple of pins for sewing. You're going to need one inch by 22 inch pieces of the fabric for the ties. You're going to need four of those. You're going to need eight pieces of acrylic yarn that are 24 inches long. Basic supplies, scissors, sewing machine, thread. A rotary cutter is really handy for cutting these ties. Here we have our pattern cut out. We have two pieces, a blue piece and a white piece. The blue piece is going to be the outer part. You can see that when I cut it out, the only part I cut out were for the darts. You cut the darts on the solid line on your template. The first thing we're going to do is attach, is make the ties. But before I do that, I want to give you a little tip about tie placement. I did make a second template to where I cut out where the ties would go. Line it up on my fabric that I already have cut out, and I just mark these lines like this, where the four ties are to be attached. And you can see I now have placement marks for my ties. We're going to make ties. I have my two pieces of yarn and my one piece of fabric right here in the middle and fold it over. I'm just going to pinch it with my fingers, slide it underneath my presser foot. You're going to be making about a 3 8 inch seam. You can see that I'm tucking the yarn into the fold as I sew down the fabric. doesn't need to be perfect, but you do want that yarn into that fold because that's going to strengthen the ties, which is important for a proper fit. As I get to the end, I'm going to stop about a half an inch from the end, and I'm going to turn it sideways and sew to the corner. And that will secure the ends of the yarn. I'm going to trim it off at an angle. The other end you want to be square, but this end is going to go inside the mask between the two layers. one tie. I'm going to do this three more times so that you have four ties. Once you have your four ties, we're going to insert them between the layers of the mask and stitch them down with a zigzag stitch. So you want to be sure that your pressure foot is the type that allows you to make a zigzag stitch. I like to line it up and give it a quick clip, keep it from moving around while I'm working. I'm going to take my first strap I'm going to insert it between the two layers I'm going to go down about three quarters of an inch which is what the mark is and you're going to clip it So 
going to make sure it's laying flat. And then I'm ready to do my zigzagging. I'm going to set my machine to my zigzag stitch. And I want the stitch length to be 2 and the width to be 7. Some machines don't go up to 7, and that's fine. Just go to the widest width your machine will allow for a zigzag stitch. Start at the outer edge. And then I'm going to reverse stitch. It's a little slower. You could potentially turn it around, but that's what I do. So now we're going to do the second one. I like to get it close, hold my finger on there, slide it underneath my presser foot. And I'm going to do the reverse stitch. And I'm going to do this for all four tab, uh, ties that I have clipped down. Next, I'm going to do the darts. It's important to note that the darts are going to be sewed on the outside of the mask, which is the blue side. I'm going to fold it here where the dart cutout is, and I'm going to clip it right there. Do the same on the other side, fold it over, clip it. We're going to do a tapered seam, and we're going to do a straight stitch. So you want to set your machine back to whatever is a straight stitch on your machine. You're going to start at the very tip of the dart, put your needle in the fabric, put your clip out, and you're going to stitch two or three times, and then you're going to back stitch. I'm going to come down about a quarter of an inch to here. So that's how you're going to see it, that it's a tapered. I'm not going to back stitch at the bottom because it's going to be sewed in. It's not the prettiest, but it'll work. Do the same on this side. These tucks are important because it'll pull the mask under the wearer's chin, helping to ensure they have a tight fit protection. There we have our two darts. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to sew a top stitch, quarter inch top, top stitch, all the way around from this corner to this corner over here on your template. This is point A, point B. So you're going to go sew from point A through AB over to B. On the darts, fold them up towards the rounded part of the mask when you're sewing this top stitch. The main purpose of the top stitch is to hold those raw edges together. top stitching in. The next part we're going to do is we're going to put a wire in up here. The wire that you have for this mask is going to be five inches. You're going to take your pliers and you're going to make that loop. That loop is important because we don't want that wire poking through and scratching the wearer. Bring it all the way around until it touches that other wire, the inside, just like that. Give it a good press to smooth it out. Turn it over. You want your loops going the same direction. 
If they're a little off when you're done, you can twist them to get them that way. You want to use the tip of your plier. Make a nice tight little loop. There you go. Now this one definitely has some rough edges. And by doing this, it's going to keep it from cutting the fabric. There. Loops are going the same way. And it's reasonably flat. Okay. I'm going to take the mask. And I'm going to insert the wire and push it up to where it's between the zigzag here and the zigzag there. And you can feel it there. And I'm going to put a clip right there to help hold it. And then I'm going to come over here, clip it on this side where the loop is, Clip it on that side where the loop is. Now we're going to sew about three eighths of an inch in, and we're going to encase that wire between the zigzagging of the two top straps. Take the first clip out, and actually, since I have the quarter foot in there, I'm just I can feel the wire. You want to sew slowly because if you hit that wire with your needle, you're going to break the needle. Start over there where the zigzag actually is. especially where those loops are, you don't want to hit it. Done. There, you can see that the wire is now encased in that seam, that channel between the two ties. Now we're ready for just about the last bit. You're going to need to bend this a little bit so that you can make the last seams. The seams are going to be on the outside of the mask, which is the blue side. I like to clip the bottom first. Come up here to where that corner is, clip that, and then up to the top. Again, you're going to use a quarter inch seam, and I'm going to back stitch at the beginning and the end of the seam that we're doing. be perfect. We're going to trim that up when we're done. Back stitch. Now I'm going to trim the seam up a little bit. You don't need all that out there. I'm going to trim it to about an eighth of an inch or half of what you see. it up a good bit. There's that seam. We're almost done. One little bit left to do. I'm going to sew from the white side and I'm going to sew a quarter inch top stitch from this dart down to the other dart so that I strengthen that seam that we just did. darts. Your seams are all on the outside for your darts. Your ties are fastened in between. You have a nice round shape and it's smooth on the inside. 